Considering Brittany and Lindsay used to spend time here, I pictured something classier. Your B-list celebrity knowledge astounds me. Brittany is not B-list, and neither am I. At least this ups my street cred. No one can call me a pretty boy after I've done hard time. If this gets out, you're ruined. Hey, chill. Jail time makes celebrities cooler. Look what it did for Dustin Diamond. Who's Dustin Diamond? You'll rebound. Everyone loves a bad boy. Oh, this isn't sparkling. I can't wait to watch your career plummet. You and that skank deserve each other. If actively resisting monogamy for the sake of spiritual enlightenment makes me a skank, then call me a skank. Every major magazine on the West Coast already has. Hey, Cody, you here to spring us? Does it look like I'm here to spring anyone? What the hell did you do? I can ask you the same thing. This is a PR disaster. Okay, hey, Mr. Hollywood Big Shot, there is no such thing as bad press. Except when the press involves a Hollywood star sitting in a pool of unidentified urine. Becca's right. Listen, guys, if we're gonna spin this, I need to know the whole story. I don't really remember. Just start from the beginning. It started in 1992. I was born on a Tuesday. Not that beginning, you idiot. The beginning of this. Good morning, Los Angeles. That was Patriot by the Deflators. Welcome back to Smash FM. With Blondie and El Chupacabra sitting across from us, his heartthrob, J.R. Ventresca. Ugh, and ladies, let me tell you, he is as delicious in person as he was on last week's cover of Tiger Beat. How do you learn? I still don't get how a shirtless picture of me is going to save the tigers. But whatever I can do to help. Beautiful creatures. Oh, so, JR, new movie, magazine covers, you know, voted Teen People's Hunky instead of 2015. How does it feel to be Hollywood's hottest man today? Well, I'm sitting at a cool 98.6 these days. You, you probably heard that I was down with the mad case of the runs last week, but my fever broke this morning. Okay, Avery, our ratings this quarter have been pitiful. Oh. The wretched side chicks of Detroit have tripled our viewership alone in February. They're just so real. Bottom line, we're not gonna get renewed unless something changes. So what do you propose? Focus groups. Love your relationship with your stepbrother. You know we don't get along. And you know that's great for reality TV, right? Uh. Okay, great. So, we are staging a family therapy session. We sent Cody a heartfelt letter with your handwriting, of course, basically saying that you wanted to patch things up. Avery, I don't think you should do this. Cody is still so mad at you over that gerbil thing. Beth, if I wanted you to speak, I would have blown my whistle. Okay? I'm just trying to assist. Well, then assist me by fetching me a gluten-free, non-fat, vegan double latte with free trade beans. Oh, and make sure that the barista's name is Mark this time. <laughs> yeah? Okay, shoot, the adults are working here. <sighs> okay, great, Avery, so we're gonna have a camera here and a camera here. We also have a bonsai tree on the table with a very teeny weeny 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 camera in it, okay? Give it some love, if you can, please. Cynthia, entree! Yeah, she lovely She will be playing your therapist. You. Mwah. Mwah. Lovely to meet you. You too. Namaste. 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 Toyota Prius. Great. Right on time. <sighs> oh, wow. You must be Cody. I am. Come on in. Your sister's already here. Brother, how are you? Oh, I've missed uh, you so. I'm fine. How are you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, I want to thank both of you for making the time to be here today. There seems to be a lot that the two of you can just really work out together. Oh, hell no. This is not happening on camera. Cody, if you would just be reasonable and talk it out. No, no, no. I will not be a part of your reality shit show, Avery. I refuse to promote the stupid famous for being famous crap that runs this town. I'm your sister. Step. Sister, step. There is a world of a difference. Let the record show, I share no DNA with this glorified brat stall. 
And I thought you were actually trying. I should have known. <sighs> okay. Now give us a reaction. And go. I just really don't understand my brother. I try sibling therapy with him all the time, and every session ends this way. You know, it's not always easy taking the high road, but at least it's easier on my Bentley. Hey, wait. Sorry about that. I tried to stop her. It's nothing new, Beth. You can't change people. The sooner you realize that, the better. I just don't understand how you can tolerate her every single day. It's my job. I have to. Do you? Look, I've got to run. JR has an interview with Smash FM in an hour. That's going on right now. I was pissed to be missing it for this. <sighs> Bestiality is really kind of cool if you think about it. Right. Mother Teresa! Long story short, that's the moment I knew the Tooth Fairy was real. Right, so uh, we hear you brought your sidekick with you today. Yeah, it's my main man Blake here. We were college roomies and have been best friends ever since. Get this boy a mic. We need to hear all about JR's collegiate days. What's up, Los Angeles? Hottie alert. Hottie alert. Yeah, don't do that. So JR and I studied acting at the University of Toledo and then we just made the big move to LA. It must be tough living in this man's shadow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. not for long. This guy's got big things on deck. Tell him, buddy. That's right. My commercial, uh, my first national commercial airs tonight. And what for? You know, they're always so vague on set. It's, uh, it's a showbiz thing. Vague, yes. Uh, right. We'll be keeping our eyes peeled for that one. Well, I, before I go, I want to give a big shout out to my main man, JR. Uh, he's throwing me a big bash tonight at uh, Spin Nightclub. And you guys can come. Oh, this is the sweetest bromance I have ever seen. Tonight's all about you, man. Oh, well, isn't that special? All right, well, that's about all the time we've got today. Los Angeles, catch us tomorrow on Smash FM. Thanks, guys. Harry and Lloyd over here. JR? What? Hey, Cody. Not bad, huh? Not bad? Horrific, maybe even catastrophic. What was the one thing you were supposed to talk about? The movie! <sighs> Sometimes I just get so wrapped up in talking about my other passions that I forget. In the last hour, you discussed Bob Saget's hairline, your squash allergy, and your favorite documentary film, Jumanji. I'll slip the movie in there next time. There might not be a next time, JR. Paramount is gonna be furious. Promotion is a line item in your contract. Well, while we're talking business, I should talk to you about my upcoming project. Hi, are you an intern? No, I'm not an this intern. This can be recycled. Why would I recycle this? I must stay. Totally burned! Seriously? Go for Cody. Hi, brother. The answer is no. Okay, but before you hang up, just know that I have a white Fendi scarf in hand. And it's waving. I just called to mend things with my favorite step-sibling. When was the last time you called to mend things? Last week. Asking me if tuna is vegan does not constitute as mending things. Well, anyways, while I have you, my producers from the Valley need some footage of me clubbing this week, and you should at least have an inkling of where the hot parties are tonight. You overestimate my clout. What's JR up to? You're his agent, you should know. Like I'd ever tell you. Kind of like you would never make out with my hairstylist, Chad. You remember Chad, right? You can't keep bringing this up. Did I ever send you those photos? Oh, you looked so good. I bet your mom would love to see them. Ha. Huh. I deleted them from your phone. So did Jennifer Lawrence. The cloud is a vicious place, Cody. You're sadistic. Only when I need to be. Now all I need to do is choose a filter. Fine. I will put both you and Beth on the list for spin tonight. Who's Beth? You're a terrible human being. Get those photos off the cloud by tonight. Consider it done. Love you, baby brother. Mwah. Well, just pick one from the catalog, Jenny. No, they'll all look great, baby. Why do I do like the brown one? Well, let's go with the brown one. 
Oh, we're picking our sperm donor today. Oh. Did you catch that JR Kids Smash FM interview this morning? You know, I've been so busy. Have you heard about the news on the Middle East? I would love to do a story. I think it would be perfect for the magazine. Yes. Are you being serious? You're going to let me do Holy it? Holy crap. Are we breaking the news on Kim and Kanye's new baby name? Amazing. No. I'm talking about the ISIS development in Libya. Person needs to write about this. It's very important to our society. Okay, Molly, I need you to think less jihadist and more who's jihadist in these jeans. But there are serious human rights violations. There's human rights violations on the red carpet all the time. Let's get to it, okay? So back to JR. I need you at Spin Nightclub tonight, okay? I'd really like it if you just give me a chance. I actually really want to do that. Are you being serious? You'll let me do it? Oh, no, not you. <laughs> No, her. Okay. All right. Okay, who bet on the black sperm? Jake, you won 50 bucks. It's probably yours. Farking fish farts, who the hell are you? Your assistant said you were too busy to see me. So you broke into my home? I brought mangoes. Do I know you? We spoke at the radio station. I'm JR's roommate, Blake. We met at his premiere last month. I spilled the shrimp cocktail sauce all over your pants and you called me- An illiterate pile, pile of rat feces. feces. Yes, Blake, hi. How are you? Better now, Mr. Montgomery, I know that you only represent A-list clients. Mm -hmm. And as a professional courtesy, I wanted to let you know that after tonight, I will be A-list. What's going on tonight? My first commercial, my first national commercial, that's what this party at Spin is for to premiere your 30-second commercial. National commercial. And if you think about it, you should really be there. Okay, yeah, I will be at Spin tonight, but I can't guarantee anything. You won't have to, my commercial speaks for itself. We'll see, shrimp boy. Are you kidding me? This is unexpected. I know. Uh, would you like to come in? I, I have mangoes. You're in really good shape. Beth, why are you here? I've been driving around thinking about what you said this afternoon, about why I don't quit being Avery's assistant already. Okay. And I don't know why. I'm about to burst. I just need someone to talk to. Have you ever been to AA? Uh. Isn't the point of Alcoholics Anonymous not to tell people that you're in Alcoholics Anonymous? No, that's Fight Club. I'm in one. Damn it! I guess what I'm saying is I need, like, an Avery's Anonymous, you know? Beth, you don't need AA. You need to quit your job. You deserve respect. That's exactly what my sister wife Liza told me before I left the compound. Actually, can I have a mango? Beth, you are a... Weird girl. And if you want to quit your job, that is great. But if not, let me know, because I'm going to put your name on a list for a party tonight. Liza loved mangoes. Whose party? J.R. Ventresca. <gasps> I take it you know him. I'm familiar with his body of work. So, anyways. <gasps> Thanks, Cody. You've inspired me. Keep me on that list. Okay. Yeah. I will quit my job tomorrow.
pay you. Good. I'll have another. Oh, I'm not a cocktail waitress. Though I do know my way around. Oh my god. It's Avery Magnolia. No way, it is. I know her. She's the heiress to the biggest porter potty fortune in North America. Crap. I'm her assistant. You won't believe this, but we started in the same acting studio. Of course, back then I was about 50 pounds heavier and I couldn't even book a pet smart. She's an actress? She's on that BH1 show, The Valley. Do we know anybody that could put in a good word? This is literally all of her contact information, including her social security number. Like anybody at all. Hey! I know her. Could you put in a good word for me? I'm so in love with her. Sure. Anything for a friend of JR. Dude, it's 828. Get up there. Oh, shoot. Hi, y'all. Thank y'all for coming out to the premiere of my first national commercial. I am excited to be here to watch it with you for the very first time. But first, let's give it up for the beautiful Avery Magnolia, who has graced us with her presence. I can't wait for our big date tomorrow, Avery. Uh, we didn't. I, I don't know you. Well, after tonight, you will. William Shakespeare once said, some are born great. Some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. I am honored to be here tonight to have you watch what is being thrust upon myself. Ew. Bartender, line up some shots. Ladies and gentlemen, cheers. Are you tired of walking into the drugstore full of confidence only to find that there's no protection for your size? Guys, are you tired of having to rubber band those raincoats? Gentlemen, we understand. There's small, and then there's small. And then there's me. Every size is too big. We can't help you with her disappointment, but we can help you with yours. Introducing the new micro sleeve. This revolutionary product is a micro condom for smaller men. Believe us, moderate pleasure for him or her every time. Watch as we demonstrate. Using the circus peanut as a model, observe how the micro sleeve fully encapsulates its girth and still remains secure. Security has always been an issue for me, but not this time. The micro sleeve. Just because size matters, doesn't, doesn't mean you don't. You know, Mr. Laughlin, I bet they have micro size shots. <laughs> Too soon? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My name is Molly Bell, and I'm a reporter, and I'd love to ask you some questions. Me? Oh, no. Um, about your friend, JR? I'd rather get a root canal. Both out of luck for tonight, my Hit me again. Are you still interested in representing me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rule number one never network while drunk. I am not drunk. See? Impressive. Avery, sweetheart, not now. Excuse me. Can we have a quick chat outside? <sighs> that Ben Tresca kid is not where it's at right now. JR is a huge star. Avery, get some perspective. JR, he's gonna be around in two weeks. You need to be jumping on what's hot tonight, okay? Literally, like, jumping on it. Huh? Microsleeve, man. Are you kidding me? Microsleeve is already the highest trending hashtag on Twitter. Listen, hey, from New Hollywood, it's all about embarrassment, okay? You got the Star Wars kid, William Hung, great lady, ginger kid, all right? Shane's new fame, baby. Look at you. Wait a minute. Trust me. Microsleeve kid is gonna get you headlines. Now go. Avery. Avery! Avery! What is it? I can't do this anymore. Do what? This. This crap. Uh, we're kind of filming here. Perfect. So I have an audience. Listen, 
I'm tired of being pushed around, bullied by you, crushing those stupid organic vegan almonds into little pieces so that you can drink them out of a straw. Just by flipping almond milk. I quit. I quit. I'm free. Wow, that was so weird. Crazy fans. Sorry. Right? Let's just get back on track. Huh? What's wrong, big boy? You talking to me? I sure am. What the hell's going on? You trying to steal my girl? I called her first, bro. Oh dear me, it appears as if I'm in a love triangle. Well, Avery, only one corner in the triangle can do this. Can we get a bottle of Cristal, please? Two glasses. Oh, you do make a persuasive point. Not fair. Whoa, 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 one for my friend here too. Consolation prize. That's all I can remember. Me too. That's really all that you can remember? Yeah. Well, let me refresh your memory. Last night I got a call from you asking me to come officiate a wedding between you and my stepsister. What? what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Or morning, I suppose. I know you. Molly, right? Yes, Molly Bell of Person Magazine. Grim Reaper to the stars. Hollywood Hanging Tree. The voice of Princess Anna from Frozen? That's Kristen Bell, JR. Kristen. You were the one trying to squeeze a comment on me after my public humiliation last night. You wrote a scathing article about my back knee last year. Which, by the way, those accusations were completely libel. I cannot help it if the sun accentuates my birthmark. Avery, again with the back knee. Miss Bell, we've got a lot that we're trying to work through here. And to be honest, we have no comment for you. Oh, I'm not here for comments, Mr. Montgomery. I've already got the full story. I thought you might want a copy. How do you know all of this? I'm a gossip columnist. I'm pretty good at being a quiet follower. You wouldn't actually print this. Oh, I'm turning it in to my editor in about an hour. Unless you give me a reason not to. What do you want? When I moved to LA, I dreamt of becoming a Hollywood writer. You are? Detailing the size of Kim Kardashian's butt is not my idea of the next great American screenplay. What do you want? Cody, you're a young guy, but you've got some clout around here. And I'm not one to boast, but my newest screenplay is Oscar worthy. Bullshit. JR, I want you to star in it. Cool. I've been looking for more serious roles. That's why I auditioned for Twilight last year. <laughs> Look, Miss Bell, thanks, but no thanks. So you don't care if I run that article tomorrow? Give me that. I don't care because this didn't happen. Maybe it did. Cody, you and I both know that I could end all of your careers with one email to my editor. This doesn't have to happen. Help me help you. Help me. Top Gun. Nice. Molly Bell, looks like we're making a movie. Next week on The Valley. Jiwoo Kim is jealous that I have a new Asian friend, but it's like, what? Am I only allowed to have one Asian friend? <laughs> and we get a look at the struggles of fame. It's hard to be so well known around town. I can hardly leave my house without being mauled by fans. Please stop following me with your cameras! I'm just trying to live a normal life! Roxy.
You deserve that skank. You and that skank deserve each other? You and that <laughs> There's a blooper. Welcome back, Los Angeles, to WW. Oh, that's all f***ed up. In the last hour, you discussed Bob Saget's hairline, the Baja Men, how Ruben stuttered is your muse, your squash allergy, listing 44 words that kind of rhyme with purple, and your favorite documentary film, Jumanji. So what do you propose? <laughs> 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 no mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quinoa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Karate chop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh. chicken pose. But you're my brother. <laughs> yes, man, your stepbrother. Uh, <laughs> I can't say fing. We're not fing. I'm JR. I JR is my roommate. I'm room dead dead. I got this. You got this. I'm on TV. I don't know what to say. That's it. <laughs> Did I eye the camera? You're okay. You're good. Yeah, you're good. Alright, quiet please. Metal and <laughs> New Hollywood. It's all about embarrassment, okay? You got Star Wars, kid. You got, uh, you got, 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 you Princess Anna from Frozen. Oh, am I? <laughs> I thought I thought I was gonna get the. Oh, all right, I know what we're doing now. Cool. I've been looking for more serious roles. That's why I auditioned for Left Behind. Till Cage beat me out. That's why I auditioned for Scary Movie. Eight. That's why I auditioned for Paul Blart Mall Cop Two last year. <laughs> Paul Blart Mar. That's funny though. That's why I auditioned for Frozen last year. Let it go. <laughs> oh, right. Cut. <laughs>